Here's Hendry. Hendry swings one in, and Drew missed it, and then Imri with a real opportunity early on for Hamilton. Dougie Imri, who scored here last season for Morton. Gudetti. Now Wicasso. Faced by Stephen Hendry. Wicasso swings one in. Towering header from Ambrose. Flicked on by Brown, it's Gudetti! Oh, what a chance it was for John Gudetti. The man in form. Three goals in his last two, if you credit him with the first against St Mirren. Stokes, cleared away at the front post. Izaguirre will have another go. Poor delivery from him too. Gordon, they can't clear it. And Van Dijk turns it back in for Denier. Good save. It's still on though. Ambrose crosses it back in. Panic in the middle. And eventually Michael Devlin gets it clear. Denier's header, well saved by McGovern. Commons. Now Van Dyke. Celtic won the last 22 here against Hamilton. 1938 was Hamilton's last victory. Izaguirre's cross, and Gudetti was attacking it. And then Johansson's effort was blocked on its way through by Garcia Tena. Celtic beginning to find chances. Excellent delivery, as always, from Izaguirre. Gudetti couldn't quite connect with it, and Garcia Tena's block was crucial. Picasso, not on the same wavelength with Gudetti. And Denier is in trouble here against Antoine Curia. Great chance. But Virgil van Dijk did just enough to put off the man in form, who's got four in his last three. Brown turns away from Crawford, then hits it. Good stop by McGovern. Stokes turns it back in, away by Redmond. And Brown again, and his second effort flies well over the top. Celtic have certainly been in a game here. It's Johansson over the top for Stokes. Just two goals so far this season for Anthony Stokes. None in his last nine games. Hendry. Unchallenged down the left-hand side. That's deflected, and Ali Crawford attacks it! And the goal has come for Hamilton Academical, who lead at Celtic Park. Well, didn't he attack that ball well? He wasn't put off by the challenge by Van Dijk. Real bravery from Crawford. Denier attacks it. And Crawford is the man on the line. Scorer at one end and saviour at the other. Tonev. Griffiths to substitute. Stokes. Ziggy Gordon. Did just about enough to put off Anthony Stokes. Griffiths cross, Stokes header, a yard or so wide. And Ali Crawford could be in again here. He's behind Denier. It's long range for the second. Well, he went it alone when he really should have squared that ball to Tony Andrew. And the Frenchman is livid. Gillespie, Crawford, Gillespie. All oh, the confidence is flowing in Hamilton right now. Andrew, oh, so close to number two. Brilliant piece of play from Hamilton. Denier. Out to Ambrose. Clipped in, and it's Lee Griffiths at the front post. Couldn't quite steer it inside. Ambrose cutting in, outside of the right foot with the cross, Johansson and on to Commons. Well, he scored the crucial goal against Dinamo Zagreb on Thursday night. Well, Celtic's 34-game unbeaten run in the league is coming to an end, unless they can work something here, it's Tonev for Stokes! And flashed wide, and Hamilton will go to the top of the Premiership with a sense. Good tracking back by... Chris Johnson, and now Barber forward. Kilmarnock have been the better side so far. 
McGuinness won the header. Eremenko, he's passed for you. Pulls it back. Obadai, he could be in here. Kilmarnock have the lead, and it's Topi Obadai once again. He scored a double here against Partick Thistle last time out. Eremenko with the craft to pick him out. And what a signing this man has been. That is now his fourth goal in Kilmarnock Colours. Eremenko beating Fojut, pulled it back. Perhaps the first touch was heavy, the second was clever, and the third was clinical. Eremenko's corner, and there's Connolly! Well, has it been given? It has now. Mark Connolly can celebrate. Two goals in three minutes for Kilmarnock. And the big centre-back out-muscled Fojut and makes it 2 nothing. And Kilmarnock at this rate are heading up to third in the table. Robson leaves it for McGinn. And he doesn't get it past the first man. Headed back and Goodwillie is interested. Goodwillie is deflected, it's Considine and what a start for Aberdeen. Less than five minutes played and it is the most unlikely of goal scorers, Andrew Considine with his first in the league for just under three years. McGowan, Clarkson took a tumble. And here's Harkins, so relaxed with the ball at his feet. McGowan to Stewart, won back by Aberdeen, but given straight back to Gary Harkins, and what a response from Dundee. Gary Harkins pings it with his right boot and finds the corner of the net. Langfield stunned. Flood, Goodwillie drops deep. Now Niall McGinn. Just jinks onto the right foot and in for Logan. And Aberdeen are back ahead, but from Shea Logan's reaction, this appears to be an own goal by James McPaik. Going back to McGinn. Now McBride, Taylor, cries of handball. And now McAllister goes down, and the penalty is given by referee Willie Collum. That one seemed to come off the chest, but then Taylor caught McAllister. And it's David Clarkson, and what a confident penalty. For the first time this season, Dundee scored twice in a league game. Clarkson scores for the second game running. Goodwillie will win the race with McGinn. Now Robson. Robson loses it, back it comes to Flood though. And now Logan on the right-hand side, crossed in. It's Goodwillie, what a header! And what a game at Dens. Aberdeen lead once more for the third time. This time it's Goodwillie to put them 3-2 up. Here's Osman. A real change in the conditions here in Mary Hill. Lawless, and he slipped that through for Bannigan, he's in behind the defence now. Stuart Bannigan keeps his cool and opens the scoring. Just over a quarter of an hour played. Stuart Bannigan scores for the first time since the opening day of the season. Five wins on the bounce in this fixture for Motherwell. It's a... Uh, contest which usually gives plenty of goals and here's Stephen O'Donnell to cut back for Doolan and an emphatic finish to make it 2-0 brilliantly done by Doolan his third of the season is second in the league O'Donnell with some excellent setup play and what a finish from Doolan it's one win in eight for Motherwell and they're struggling to get to grips with this one it's Ainsworth the substitute on to Sutton. Now Josh Law. Back to Ainsworth. Oh, it's an absolute hammer! 
from Lionel Ainsworth and Motherwell are back in this with 18 minutes to play. This was some strike. Unsavable from Lionel Ainsworth. Ainsworth, he really is making the difference here for Motherwell. But it's cleared. Eccleston, there could be a break on here for Partick Thistle because Stephen O'Donnell has made the break all the way through the middle of the park and he calmly slots it under Dan Twardzik. Any doubts that Partick Thistle had of claiming the three points have now been put to rest. Stephen O'Donnell slots it through the legs of Twardzik and it's 3-1. McGinn. Riley. Kelly had done well, but O'Halloran has lost it back to Kelly. It's come all the way over for Naismith to strike it. A wonder goal from Jason Naismith. He hasn't scored since March, and this will certainly be one for the youngster to remember. He has absolutely thumped this one. Anderson, and now they have the equaliser, it's been coming. 68 minutes on the clock, it's Steven Anderson, perhaps came off his shoulder last. Kelly tidied up. It's Adam Brown. Now Caldwell. It's a lovely ball by Caldwell, and he picks out Drury to win the game, surely, for St Mirren. The three substitutes combine, and it's Adam Drury, the man on loan from Manchester City, who's done it. Caldwell with the setup, and Drury finished it so well. Cardell into Philip Kish, shot blocked by Warren. Cardell still there, heavy challenge by Marley Watkins. This is Carey though. Quinn with a first time effort. Arkan attacks it! Ross County have the lead in the derby and it's Johan Arkan. What a time to score your first goal of the season. And didn't he attack this well? Meekings caught on his heels on the six yard line. Arkan certainly wasn't. That was his ball all day long. And a bullet header into the ground and past Dean Brill. Yep, that's how you do it. Boyd. Britain. What a difference a win makes in terms of confidence. Ross County do not look like the league's bottom side right now. Lost by Toshney though. Tansy did really well. Now Christie comes off Boyd, surely for Watkins to equalise. They have now. Marley Watkins scores for the third game running. And for all of Ross County's dominance, they find themselves on level terms with Inverness. Christie's cross deflected off Boyd. And Watkins finished it so well. We're all squared up in the Highlands. And that may be relief as much as joy for John Hughes.